Okay, so I'm here. I had a couple of little technical glitches. My camera was facing outside, which in itself is not a bad thing, but it wasn't me. You can see Snowy over this shoulder. Um, just out of shot here is Georgie. So if you hear scurrying noises or barking, they tend to bark at pretty well everything. Um, and nothing, they like to bark at nothing. So sometimes when you think, oh, we've got a visitor and we look out and there is no one there and I think they barked at the wind or um, at a ghost, I don't know. I don't, I don't really understand what they're barking at. Um, so this is my first YouTube live. I um, did a few Facebook lives while I was doing my trip up the coast um i hope you guys can hear me everything here says that that i've got audio so that's positive um lots of birds around today which is really nice although there's one peewee that's flying up you can see it there it goes there it's it's tapping the um side mirror on my car so i've got all these like little tap tap dirty beak marks that i have to keep wiping off which is great um so that's fun i I notice that there's a viewer and I don't know if I can see any chatting. So if that person can write something, that would be super helpful. I don't know if I have a chat window that pops up here. Um, this is, as I said, it's my first go with this. Um, I've, it's normally a different screen that I see. Um, but this time round, I don't get to see any any chat, I don't think, which is really annoying because I wanted to see chat. Um, so if someone can type something and let me, well, do you have an option to type? Well, you may not have an option to communicate with me at all. Um, uh, oh, I just got a notification that I'm live streaming. So that's great to know that that's actually going through and it means I can cheat and have a look and see if I can comment. Okay, so you guys can comment. I just don't know if I can read them. So what I'm going to do here, um, bear with me. I know this is probably really frustrating for you while I tap on my phone while I'm talking, which is my pet hate. Um, so I'm just going on my phone. Oh, that's a flattering photo as the, as the startup screen. Um, I'm just going to see if I can, I can't write anything there. Oh, my gosh, this is so frustrating. Um, it kind of defeats the purpose of why I wanted to do this. Oh, all right. Well, I'm just going to keep going. Um, if anybody can get a message to me somehow, I've got my phone, so if you tweet me or Facebook me or something and tell me if you're able to communicate somehow, um, I may not be able to communicate with my phone because it's the same login that might be like, hey, you're trying to talk to yourself, you big old weirdo. Um, so I've got this here. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was um, my Bendigo trip and how much fun I had. Now, I, there's been a lot of chatter. I want to get this out of the way first. And there's been a lot of chatter about um, some shoplifting that went on at Bendigo. And I was one of the stall holders that noticed some bits and bobs go missing. Um, but I'm not going to let it ruin my weekend. Like, yeah, it happens. And as, a, as someone who is a retailer, and goes to events, you kind of have to accept and expect that it's going to happen. But every time it does happen, it's still a shock and it's still, it's it's a little bit of a slap in the face and you're like, you, you're just like, oh, that's right. There's, there's still people, you know, there's still um, people with all the good and the bad that comes with it. So um, I've received some lovely messages of support and even a couple of um, little orders with just like, you know, this has been horrible and I hope this helps and absolutely it does. Um, but at the end of the day, it's kind of, it's it's the age that we live in that, it's, that it happens. 
um, and it happens all the time. You know, you've got you see the articles where people are rorting the system at Woolies, where they're putting in that they've grabbed, you know, like the cheaper the cheapest um, brand of apples, and they're actually putting pink ladies through or something like that. And they they know they're doing it. They're doing it on purpose. You know, there's people who do stuff by accident, but there's people who really do this stuff on purpose. Um, but it just happens, and so. I was shocked and I was surprised when I realised that one of my um, larger tools had gone for a little walk, but it's kind of, it happens and so it, you just move on. So, and in the meantime, I had so many amazing chats with wonderful, wonderful people. Um, I was a bit shocked at the number of people that would say, oh, I watch your videos. I kind of sit here in a bit of a, in a, bit of a void and I feel like I'm sort of just talking to myself. and, and because I'm at home by myself all day, I really do walk around the house talking to myself and the dogs and the cats and a wall and, you know, the computer when it's naughty and, you know, I do. I just I talk to everything. And so to have um, have you or some of you actually say that you um, that you watch and that you enjoy it has been really, really nice. So it's kind of it gave me a bit of a spur on, you know, people comment and people write posts every now and again, you know, about how it's good. But it's it sometimes you wonder should I keep doing it? Should I keep doing these videos? And and I'm going to, I'm gonna keep doing it because I enjoy make I enjoy making them. So I'll just keep up keep doing that. But anyway, my Bendy Hall, I it's a little embarrassing. I normally am very, you know, like I would just get these three or four things and I'll be very good and I won't do it because I have to leave the stall to go shopping and, and I don't often get a chance to leave the stall. Um, I'm just seeing if anyone sent anything. No. Um, and so I did a bit of snavelling on the Thursday, which I know is naughty, but sometimes it's the only opportunity you get. So I hit Ixshell Bunny's stall and got the um, the most precious, the most precious. I've actually got two of these, which Abby stole and I had to go and steal out of her stash to show you today. So I've got Shell Bunny cashmere flings, which I love, which were on my list. I'm not sure if any of you remember, but I had a shopping list. Cashmere fling was on my list, along with 4,000 other Charlie blends, which... You'll be happy to know I didn't do. I did not get 4,000. So I've got my two cashmere flings, which Abby has claimed. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about those. Then I've got, I also try, I didn't, I haven't patted this before, which is the Outlander from Ixshell, which is, I'm going to say it wrong, but soy sheep, eco merino, cashmere, mugger silk, and angora. And I got it in this lovely, lovely colour, obviously purples, teals and green because there's a theme with my life. Um, and, of course, two because I can't help myself. I've got to have two. Um, actually, I don't have two of everything, just so you know. Yeah, I don't have two of everything. Um, some things I have four of. Uh, <laughs> then, um, and so I was very restrained at the Excel store. Um, Emma had brought down a pile of spindles that she was destashing from her spun out days. Um, oops, I've got something happening on my phone. I'm sorry. I just trying to keep keep an eye on it just in case someone's trying to tell me that they can't hear me or they can't message me or I don't know why I can't see the chat on my screen, which is a little frustrating. Um, because I wanted you guys to be able to talk to me and that's kind of was the point. Um, oops, someone's messaged me. Ah, oh, there's people in my chat. Oh, that's so exciting, but I can't see a chat. Oh, my God, I'm so frustrated. Um, is there, is, do I have a chat? Oh, hang on. Do you know if I had have clicked the button that says, chat I would have seen that there is a chat window um there we go I have a chat window I've just said hi in it um I'm not sure how you guys write in that but I've 
I found that there's a fiberific group chat thing happening. Um, yeah. So there are oh, you guys are in the YouTube chat, which I don't know where that is. Oh my gosh. This is bizarre. Like, I'm a little frustrated. I'm going to have to work something out for next time. But anyway, I'm going to keep going. So Emma had a um, some some bits that she was destashing, and so uh, like spindles. So I may have got more than the one I'd planned. So um, so I got this one, which. I don't have a tag, so I can't tell you who made it or what. But Emma would be able to tell you just by looking at it because she's clever. Um, and then I also got this one, which is just super beautiful and really cute. I love Tibetans, and so that's really nice. And then I know what these are. These are Jim Leslie's, and I got two of those, and I love Jim Leslie Russians. So I've got quite a little collection of Jim Leslie Russians because I can't help myself. Um, then then I was very good for like minutes, like full-on minutes where I was good. I'm just checking to see if I just click over to this other thing, um, if I can just bear with me, guys. I'm just looking to see if I can look at the chat some other way. Do you know what I mean? just to see if there's a, there we go, that's the live control room. Um, that does not show me the chat. Oh, my gosh, I'm going insane. Um, then, sorry, guys, I really am trying to be good. I'm tr really trying to not click around too much, but I just, I want to see the chat because it's kind of the point. It's why I'm doing this. So bear with me while I while I do this. I'm just going to mute this screen just so that, you know, I can't hear myself. Um, oh, my gosh, I see the chat. I can see the chat. Oh, wow. I can see the chat. Yay. All right, so I can see Sarah Smith. Oh, who bought something from me at Bendigo, which is exciting. Um, Sarah, which braid did you get? Do you remember which one it was? Because some of the, they were so soft. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, Charlie, it's sunny up here. But um, it's also really overcast. So it's like sort of bright and glary. Um, yeah, so it's... it's um, yeah, it's bright and glary and the sun keeps getting covered. Like I had it all set up and it just now I've got all like shadow everywhere that I wasn't prepared for and stuff. So you guys can hear me, I'm assuming, because no one's like, I can't hear you, um, which I'm just, look, I'm just absolutely chuffed that I can see this this chat now. So I'm just moving things around so that I've got a chat window. No, little computer, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's just do, oops, it's doing things. Don't do things, we don't like it when you do things that are naughty. Oh, Sarah got an eggshell braid while she was helping her while I was helping her mum with interchangeables. Oh cool. Okay. I've got a chat window and I've got the window with my face on it, which it's not necessary, but it makes it so I feel like I'm not talking to myself. Well I feel like I am talking to myself, but it's a person rather than um air, which is nice. Okay, so back to the fun things. Got my eggshell braids, which I, I have to say I am itching to spin the Outlander, um, but I'm being very good. I'm trying to finish off the first prize shawl that's still not finished. The winner has been wonderful. She's so patient and kind and encouraging, but I am I am progressing. So here's a little, which way is which? There we go. So this is where we're at so far. So I'll keep creeping it out. 
and see how we're at that we've got I've got 20 no not 20 anymore I've got 16 rows left to go of that just that border lace is it 16 I don't think it's even 16 um, which doesn't sound like a lot but that's a lot of lace um, there's a lot of stitches in there and I'm dreading how long it's going to take to cast off so I've been I've been solely working on that craft wise I haven't done any spinning any other knitting um, I've been doing some thinking and some planning about some bits and pieces like think about changing the glue for my blinglets things like that okay so after I rated the eggshell I may possibly have nicked over and rated shepherdess now when I say rated what that means is I steal things off their stalls and put it in a big pile at the front of my stall while I'm like adding it up and then go and tell them here I sell these things from your stall I need to give you some money um, so I hit shepherdess now if you remember in my Bendigo chat earlier I wanted to get a um, sparkle sock which I did so just leaning over here Oh, look, it happens to be in a tealy, bluey green colour. It's a gradient sparkle sock. So I'm very, very, do you know what? I could just wrap it up to make it like camera friendly, which would be clever. There we go. See that? It's so pretty. Um, and it is BFL, which, as Charlie knows, is my favourite, BFL Merino and Stellina. Um, and it's so soft. I mean... I, I just can't wait to use it, to be honest. So it's another one on my I can't wait to spin list. Abby seems to think that I'm making something for her out of it. I'm going to have to break a little heart on that one. Now, while I was raiding Shepherdess, you remember how I wanted that single twist lace thing that she had? Well, it wasn't. I, don't, I may have bought two instead of one. So I got... I got these, so I, it's it's she calls it glow, and it's merino silk, and it's a four ply rather than a lace. Um, but I still got them just because they're beautiful. So I got this lovely grey. Don't look at my horrible fingernails. Lovely grey. That's all. I love the semi solid stuff. That's why I buy semi solid because that's what I like to use. And look, it's a splotchy one, and it's going to go with the grey so nicely. So if you've got any suggestions for a shawl that will or project that will work using um 800 meters in two colors total they're 400 each so sorry just extreme close up there on you then i also because i can't help myself i had to get an indigo dyed lace baby which is this one here which is it's a bit splashy because it's been sitting with this with the um the sparkly sock but this is silk Kriya suri and extra fine merino there's 1200 meters here and it's just ah, oh, it's so soft honestly i'm a bit i don't know what to make with it to be honest but i just had to have it um it's this beautiful beautiful color anyway so i could just, just sit here and pat that oh ah, oh, there was one other thing i got on charlie's store which was hiding oh now i have to read it because i constantly say guacano which charlie cacks herself at don't you charlie um but it's the guanaco blend that she brought out to bendigo this year which was 60 percent guanaco 25 percent mugger silk 12 percent cashmere and 3% Angora. And I got it in the natural colour way because I love the naturals. And I honestly, I can't decide what I'm going to do with this, whether or not it's going to be like my Vicuña blend, which is still in its little tub and it lives up on my um, bookshelf in my workroom so that I can just look at it and it's just pretty um, because I'm too afraid to use it to be like, <gasps> Oh, I could spin them and ply them together. Oh, that would just be too, that, that'd that be too much, wouldn't it? Like Vicuña and Guanaco, which are like the two most, rare, the two most rarest, the two rarest fibres that there are. Yeah, I think that's a really good plan um, and make myself something decadently beautiful to wear. Funnily enough, this, this, that's not all there is because um, I went a little crazy. Um, 
then on I was very very good Friday I well basically had no choice my it was so busy and it was so exciting I didn't get to leave my stall um I did however get to eat something which is novel I don't normally get to eat at Bendigo um but I didn't leave my stall on Friday other than you know necessity runs um and Emma my superhero um assistant she was the food catcher and coffee bringer um it wasn't just me that coffee was a little bitter wasn't it like I'm not a fan of bitter coffee some people like bitter coffee I don't like bitter coffee but the coffee was a little bitterer than I would normally enjoy but anyway the coffee was hot and that was important so Saturday I just so Friday I met he, oh, I was crazy Friday I, that's when I started losing my voice was Friday night after talking to so so many people um then Saturday my voice got worse and worse because I don't stop talking. I don't care that my voice is sore. I just keep talking. Um, I just talk like this so that, you know, I just have to force it through. Um, that's why I don't know if that's how it sounded, but that's definitely how it felt. So I did that all day Friday or all day Saturday. Um, however, I did escape and do some shopping on Sunday. Um, like that, all the, all you've seen are the things that I quickly snabbled, but then I actually went on a shopping adventure and I went over to Cat and Sparrow and I spotted this, which is absolutely Abby's colours. And this one's Falkland Nylon Sparkle and Beer Fell. So all horrible, horrible things. Um, Abby was very excited. She didn't steal it for her stash. But she has expressed opinions on what I should make out of it for her. Although the, for the list of things, I think she thinks it's going to go a really, really long way, like, you know, two kilometres or something of eight ply, which it's it's 100 grams. Um, so, yeah, she's really, really keen. And it's lovely. I really like this. So I spotted this and I had to snavel it because that's what you do. And then when I picked that up, I sort of, because you move things, I spotted this now i don't know if you can see this very well but look at that with the dark purple and the black and the green that's so me and this one is merino bamboo alpaca and shetland and it's so deliciously soft is that 100 grams yes yeah, 100 grams this is mine i abby went to touch it and i smacked her fingers i'm like no you cannot have this one it is mine don't even get attached to it i don't know what i'm going to make it's going to live in my stash for a little while now, in the stall next to Cat and Sparrows was, um, oh, I can't think, uh, Dyed by Hand Yarns, Julie. I can't, is it Dyed by Hand Yarns, Julie? It's a Dyed by Hand Yarns, yeah. But anyway, Julie does this amazing stuff. And Emma's come back going, oh, my God, go and check out Julie's stall. She's got this beautiful lace. I went to the store. There were three little skeins of this lace weight left. It is 70% cashmere, 30% silk, and it's, you know, 400 metres per 50 grams sort of thing. Is that right? Yeah. I may have bought all three that were left because I couldn't decide if I wanted the silver or if I wanted these multi-tonal blues, which you can't really see. What if I take that away? No, it's it's they're like it's it's multi-tone. Like think of the ocean. Look at the ocean and how the blues change colour. And that's what this colour is. And oh well, she calls it Bass Strait, so that's clever. Um, and I couldn't decide. And then I thought, I'm such a good girl at all the bendies, and I normally come home with just a couple, of, like literally two or three skeins of Charlie's stuff for myself. And so this year I went a little, I, I went a little crazy. Um, now, also from Julie, which I've covered in fluff here, is Mythical Lace. Now, those of you that know me know that I love Good Mythical Morning and I consider myself a mythical beast. Um, and I had to have Mythical Lace and she's got it in this beautiful dark charcoal that it's just stunning. And this is 70% alpaca, baby alpaca, 20% silk, 10% cashmere, and there's 1,200 metres in this. So I am just... Again, I'm going to be making something delicious for myself. I don't know when, but I will be, and this will be mine, and you don't get to have it. I'm sorry, but it is mine. 
Um, and it's, it's mythical lace, so I had to have it. Now, it doesn't end. I'm not kidding. It hasn't ended yet. I'm still going. I know I'm still chatting and chatting and chatting. Um, so then um, I was, we were chatting to Alpacarama, which was the stall next to mine, and we were just having a chin wag on the um, Sunday, just general, you know, chatter because that's what I do. Sorry. Um, and because when I'm talking to people, I just sort of touch stuff on their stores. I'm like, mm -mm. I touched this, which I should never have touched because then it had to come home. This is unbelievable. It's 50% bamboo, 25% merino, 25% suri, 320 meters. Now, look at the color changes in that. I love it so much. I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm going to make something soft. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyway, um, so I got that one. And then while I was there, um, uh, oh, that's right, because Emma had bought some of this stuff, which is the Shropshire Spin A Yarn Shropper Sock. And there was lots of greys, and I didn't want grey. I, I like blue more than grey. Um, but so I've got some of this beautiful blue shropper sock. Now I got it. Mine's a little bit short. Mine's only 90 grams, but based on the fact that when I make, sorry, I'm just rustling the bag. Um, based on when I make socks, I end up with about, I get a pair out of about 70 grams. So I figured, you know, even with spinning it a bit not properly, then I can you know get a pair out of that hopefully but it feels really really lovely then emma went on a little break and she came back with this delicious yarn and of course i'm a copycat and i had to run after wherever she went so we went up to it was the it was in the um woolcraft rooms up where all the displays are there's you know how there's some stalls in the middle um so i've got i'm not going to tell you how many emma bought because that's her dirty little secret but I bought two, of course, purple and green because I'm nothing if not predictable. And this is a single, 100% merino. It's made in Ireland, but it looks all tweedy. Like I, you can probably see it better on the green one. But see how tweedy that is? Like it's so cool. I couldn't resist. I had to go and get some. And I can understand why Emma needed to buy more than two. Um so, yeah, it's it's beautiful stuff. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, though. I don't know what I'm going to make with any of it. Then I get after all my driving. So if you've seen my YouTube, my Facebook live videos of my trip, um, driving, 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 all the driving, I had a really good time in the car harassing caravanners and waving to truck drivers. And the truck drivers on the highway, honestly, are so nice and they're so friendly. I mean, they just, they don't, they don't sit right up the back of your car, or at least most of them don't. And if you're behind them, they let you know when it's safe to come past. City truck drivers don't do that. They kind of just take over your lane. And if you don't get out of the way, then you're dead. And I don't get into that. But anyway, I got home and the house was empty because Abby was, Abby was still at, at Belle's house after school. Tim hadn't come home from work yet. And I didn't have room for a passenger, so I couldn't go and get her. Um, but I noticed a package on my dining table. So before I left, I grabbed, I grabbed, I ordered off Etsy one of those Snyder Dielgen spindles. So to top off all of this when I got home, I had my parcel with my Snyder Dielgen, Dielgen, I'm saying it wrong, Dielgen spindles. So I've got that, which I'm really happy about. And I also ordered because I figured I'm paying the shipping already. I haven't tried it, but I got Abby and I loose it each to try out and have some fun with. He seems to be having a really good time with his 3D printer, so I'm really, I really like that he's doing these, which is cool. Um, oh, that's got a bit of a icky bit. There we go, fixed, fixed. Anyway, so that was my spendages, spendages at Spendigo. Um, I bought a lot of stuff. I really I bought home so much less stuff than I took down, which was really nice. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about next year. I know we're definitely we've got a whole other plan for the knitting needles because that was chaos. The 
I, th- I was like, oh, the white wool of knitting needles will be so much better than the racks because it'll be so much easier for people to find what they want. No, it failed. It failed miserably. It became such a mess that no one could find anything that they wanted. No one could get anything at all that they wanted, which or, or they could, but it took forever to dig through everything and find it. So we've got another plan for next year, Emma's idea, I can't take credit. Um, and so we're going we're gonna to try something else. I've got um, a couple of events this year, so I might even see if I can get it up and running in time to try it there rather than Bendigo. Um, oh, exclusive news for, for you viewers. I have um, booked into the October Stitches in Brisbane. Um, I have a stall there, which... Um, which I'm actually really excited about. I was, I was like, I got off the phone thinking, oh my god, what did I just do? Um, but after a little while, I'm actually really excited to be going. So if you're in Brisbane for the October, I think it's a Stitches and Craft. Or I think it's Stitches and Craft. I don't think it's a Craft and Quilt, but I think it's a Stitches and Craft show at the South Bank um, Exhibition Centre. Is that what it's called? I don't know. So at South Bank at the convention convention center. That's what it is. South Bank Convention Center. Um, on October, I think it's the sixth through the ninth. Then I will have a stall, which I believe is J O six. Um, I'll have to double check that on some paperwork. But you guys have got the exclusive on me going to a stitches and craft, which is different and exciting so i'll be testing out the new knitting needles format there um and i'll go through with that but um did you guys have a good time at bendigo i've been sitting here chatting no one's messaging in the chat either that or it's crashed i'll just refresh it and see if that's if that's doing anything um no, no, it hasn't crashed. Just no one's talking to me. I'll just sit here and talk to myself. It's okay. Um, I'm used to that. So I'm just going to have some coffee. Have you got coffee? I hope you've got coffee. I hope your coffee's better than what they served at Bendigo. But, um, yeah, I had a fantastic time. I love Bendigo, honestly. I think our house is already booked for next year. I think all of us that were there are going to go again, which I think is just super duper awesome i i make mulled wine um when we get back to our house and honestly this year i'm like i need to i need to make double batches every night because uh, one bottle of red makes four cups of like four good size coffee cup style cups of mulled wine now that if you think about it a coffee cup of wine is that's a fair chunk of wine but when you make it mulled wine, it doesn't seem to feel like you're drinking as much. I don't think it hits you in the head quite as hard. And, and I think that next year I'm going to have to make double batches for every batch, not, not just, you know, this year I had enough for two batches. I could have just gone boom and made one big one. Um, what do you think, Charlie? Do you think I should make double batches? I think I should make double batches. Um, yeah, so I, I really like making the mulled wine. It doesn't take long. I'm just using a recipe that some friends found on taste, excuse me, which I just, it's just beautiful. It's just got some nutmeg, cinnamon quills, cloves, wine, sugar, apple, and an orange. And it's just, it's so nice. And that whole house smells fantastic, like while you're cooking it up. So everyone like cheers up and, you know, we all perk up like, is it ready? Is it ready? Because um, you've got to wait until it's all infused and bubbly and good. Um, but, yeah, so we, I've got to do that for next year. Um, anyway, I feel like I've been chatting on and on and on. You're probably bored to tears. I'm just checking to see if I've got any messages elsewhere before I – someone's commented on the post. So I'm just checking to see what that is before I run away. <laughs> so I wrote that that I just need to cut all the fibers. I doesn't mean or, or the yarn. I don't just I just don't have to knit it. So that's true. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sarah's coming to my place for drinks next year. Um, we keep our bat location secret, Sarah. There's there's a reason for that. It's because none of us want to share the mold wine. It's ours. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I I um I really like the mold wine. I I actually got some really great t-shirts from an artist in um the us cult Bado Bado. i don't know how to say it and it was my um like in the comics t-shirt and i got a lot of people asking me about that um about where i got that last year um last year <laughs> how long has this week been um last week <laughs> and so yeah i got that off red bubble um cult Bado. and so yeah because i i um I have a lot of geeky T-shirts that I find from around the places. Kmart's been knocking out a few, which has been nice, but I tend to get them mostly from the US. But um, oh, keep chatting. I'm trying to write out my grocery shopping list as I'm listening. Wine, add wine, Miss Missy. Um, uh, my Miss Mini, sorry. Yeah, add wine, um, apples, nutmeg. Um, <laughs> Uh, what else? <laughs> cloves. You need cloves. Ten cloves. I'm like sitting there. One, two, three. I could have just gone. But um, yeah. Oh, yo, no problems. Can it? I can't. So I've got to creep it. Hang on. Look. If I just did this, I wouldn't need to look at that. Um, can a can a sour? Um, yeah, I I got a massive haul this year. I I hope my husband doesn't watch this because these were all in like little bags, sort of that crept into the house. Like as as I was unloading the car, they just look like you know fiberific stock. So um, if my husband watches this, he's gonna realize I bought a bit more than I confessed to. Oops! Don't think of that when you're putting things out in the internet, do you? Let's just put everything out there. Um, but yeah, so that's that was fun. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I there was something about this year that I just really I had an opportunity to shop. I didn't feel so constrained. I knew I was going to have a bit of space in the car coming home, sort of by Sunday, which is why I bought a few more things. Um, I may have also brought a loom home. Emma picked a loom up for me halfway through the year. Like my loom, I've got it's a four shaft table table loom. My loom moved house with Emma. Like she picked it up so long ago that she moved house. And the plan always was that I was going to pick it up from Bendigo. But I just, yeah, I had to like make room for it. It was, it just, I, for some reason, I thought it was going to fit in a front seat. Um, and so I was just like, oh, yeah, no, it doesn't matter if I don't sell anything, it'll fit in the front seat. Then I see this loom, I'm thinking, oh my God, there is no way that's going to fit in the front seat of a car. What was I thinking? Um, so I just had to, like, luckily we sold some stuff and, and you guys took some stuff home. Now, I've got um, a Chowgoo order that should be landing here this week sometime. I've already sent out a second Chowgoo order, so I'm sneaky. I try to keep my orders under um, the Australian import rate so I don't have to increase my prices too much with the US dollar tanking so hard compared to sort of this time last year, I've had to put the price up and I don't really like putting prices up. Um, so I do try to keep the orders low so that um, that they don't add customs and GST to my orders um, so that I can keep it lower for you guys as it comes in. Um, so I've got a couple of orders coming in. This first order that's coming in is going to be, it's a pile of the nine inch circulars that we sold out of so much stuff on the Friday and the Saturday morning. The nine inch circulars just went crazy. Um, they like that. I, I think they're the best. I always knit my socks on them. Now someone posted a message about, um, sorry, I'm just looking for a tissue. I'm gonna have to run away for a tissue. Hang on. Oh my God, that box is empty. Hang on, running. further. Good job, Snowy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It got to the point where I just couldn't, you know, it was it was it felt weird. Um what was I saying? I can't remember. I had to run away for a tissue. Um 
Uh, do you know what's really creepy, right? Because I've got the two screens open. There's just a slightest delay on what's on my screen versus what's on YouTube. And I just saw myself walk behind me and it just scared the life out of me thinking that there was someone else. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm I'm going to have to go because actually, do you know what? That's, that's what voicemail's for. They can go to voicemail. Um, hopefully it wasn't too important. Um, that, but that is what voicemail is really for. <laughs> now, someone's asked me if I'm going to be at Mapleton. So I, I plan to be at Mapleton. I, but I didn't get my form in till really late. And I, I may have missed the cutoff and I haven't heard anything back yet. Um, I'm hoping that I get to go to Mapleton. Um, at this stage, I'm still planning on packing up and going, Abby and I, because um, that's the one camp I take Abby to. Um, so I'm hoping that I can that I can do this. Um, but if I miss out, it's my own fault, honestly. I did not get the forms until really, really late. I meant to do it before I went to Bendigo. Um, I got caught up in all the stuff I was doing and I completely completely forgot to put my forms in so if I if I get knocked back then it is truly my own fault because I just got so so lost in the getting ready for Bendigo thing that I remembered to write a post that I was going to Mapleton but actually forgot to email the forms I'd filled them out um and I don't tend to send payment until I send the email so that I can go hey and 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 payment as well excuse me sorry Sorry, my nose has been great. It's been fine until right now. Like it's because I'm talking to you guys. You guys are making my nose run. Um, does that make you feel good? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I'm just checking messages because not everyone seems to be able to post on the the live chat for some reason, and they're commenting at the bottom of the video rather than in the live chat. So I'm getting emails that say such and such is commented on your video. So I'm just double checking that um, that I'm getting all of those as well. You know, I don't want anyone to feel like they're missing out. I don't like missing out. Um, I've got new stalkers on. Oh, sorry, followers, followers, not stalkers on um on instagram that's where it is instagram which is nice as well um yeah this whole video thing um i didn't think that i would enjoy it i it took me a long time to get the courage to actually do it um and so i honestly did not expect that i was going to enjoy this hang on a second i've just realized that that i'm not getting the full chat menu again because, you know, um, I touched something. It was just me touching stuff. Um, but, yeah, so I, what was I saying? I, yeah, I didn't think I would enjoy doing the videos. But I'm getting used to it, you know. I, I have to say I much prefer the live videos than, um, than the other videos purely, purely because I don't have to edit the live videos. So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to get moving. Um, I've got some orders to post out today. Some lovely people have popped some orders in, so I should get those out. And I'm going out for lunch with my best friend who looked after my daughter while I was away, so, you know, after school when Abby was not at school. Anyway, um, have a fantastic day and I will catch you later. Feel free to, you know, like and share and comment and all those sorts of things. It really, really helps when people actually write them in the YouTube comments um, rather than on the Facebook page. It boosts my videos. And I really want to go to VidCon next year, but apparently I'm not considered a um, YouTube creator yet because I don't have a thousand subscribers so I'm like I'm a YouTube creator I create stuff I'm on YouTube but anyway um, so if you can you know just like and comment the videos as well that would be fantastic anyway have a great day and I really really gotta run see you later bye if I can find the stop button <laughs> there it is <laughs>